Welcome to my lecture line. Just so we understand what we just saw in the previous videos, let's do a multi-block system and let's just pick out any random block, block 7. We're going to find the acceleration of the whole system and the net force on block 7. And so the first thing we do is we take a look at the thing as a whole system. So we act as if it's one continuous block and we say that the F net on the whole system is equal to mass total times acceleration or the acceleration equals the net force divided by the total mass. And in this case, the net force is the force applied since there's no friction, mu is equal zero. And we divide that by the total mass. Each block is one kilogram. There's 10 blocks, so we have 10 kilograms. So we have a acceleration of two meters per second squared. So there's two ways now we can attack the second part of the problem. What is the net force on block seven? Again, we can use F net is equal to m7 times acceleration or in this case that would be one kilogram times acceleration of two meters per second squared so that would be equal to two newtons or what we can do is we can take a look at the free body diagram of block number seven which is one kilogram and we know that it's on the floor right here there's mu equals zero and we can say that there's a force and where's my red pen Right over here so we know that there's a force pushing from the left so force from the left or force to the right I guess we'll just say force to the right and we have a force to the left and we can say here that the force to the right is equal to the force required to accelerate blocks 7 8 9 and 10 and so that would be equal to the force on each of those blocks. Let's see, how do we do that? Well, we could say that uh, that would be uh, F net. So we can say F on blocks 7, 8, 9, and 10 are equal to the mass of the mass of 7 plus the mass of 8 plus the mass of 9 plus the mass of 10 multiply times acceleration. And so this would be 4 kilograms times two meters per second squared and so that would be equal to eight newtons so we know that we have a force equals to eight newtons pushing from the left to the right so force to the right and now we have the force pushing back on the other direction so the force pushing from eight to seven is the same as the force that's required to accelerate the last three blocks and so force from the left is equal to mass 8 plus mass 9 plus mass 10 the last three blocks times acceleration which is 3 kilograms times 2 meters per second squared which is equal to 6 newtons and so we have a 6 newton force pushing from the left or I should say to the left wow I'm messing up my from and to aren't I so we have an 8 newton force pushing this way a 6 newton force pushing this way and since there's no friction we can say that the net force on block 7 is equal to the 8 newtons pushing to the right minus the 6 newtons pushing to the left which is equal to 2 newtons and so obviously we end up with the same result so that's how you want to look at a multi-system like that you can find the acceleration of the whole system then uh, use that acceleration we say the F net on any one component is its mass times acceleration which is 2 newtons again no friction involved here or we can say it's the force pushing from the uh, pushing towards the right minus the force pushing to the left 8 newtons minus 6 newtons again the difference gives you the same result the net force on that particular block and that's how it's done